Hey guys, what's going on? Hayden here. I am here with a bit of a weird find. Now, Platinum Games Japan just opened up their own Twitter account. Uh, they did that last night. I mean, last night if you're in North America. And they tweeted a bit of an interesting picture. So, <clears throat> let's get into this. This is a picture of, of course, this is art from Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2. But if you notice, it's got a red and blue contrast to it on the top and the bottom. Now, if we translate, this is of course in Japanese, we translate what this picture is saying, what the tweet is, all they're saying is, look, Japan, the Platinum Games Japan established their own Twitter, and you can follow this Twitter for other information, all that stuff. It has absolutely nothing to do with Bayonetta. And if you even zoom in on the picture, I know it's hard to see, and I'll, I'll leave a link for this in the description down below. If you actually look at what the picture is saying at the bottom, all it's saying is, this is Bayonetta 2 art. It is, it is owned by Nintendo, it is owned by Sega, and all that stuff. There is nothing there talking about Nintendo Switch. But, if you notice, and unless you live under a rock, blue and red Joy-Cons are the thing with the Nintendo Switch. I think, this, I think the writing's on the wall. I think this means Bayonetta 1 and 2 are coming to the Switch, and I think this makes a lot of sense for a few reasons. I mean, a lot of people want Bayonetta 3, and a lot of people want it on the Switch. Bayonetta is kind of a... I've got stuff popping up on my computer. I've got It's kind of a Nintendo mainstay now. I mean, yeah, the first Bayonetta didn't appear on a Nintendo console, but Bayonetta 2 did, and that's the only way it would have been made, is if Nintendo stepped in and said, hey, look, we'll do this for you guys. We'll publish this game. And now Bayonetta is in Smash Brothers. She won the fighter ballot. I think this makes a lot of sense because with Bayonetta's first game not being on a Nintendo console, not a lot of Nintendo fans played it. With Bayonetta's second outing being on the Wii U, being a very poorly sold console, a lot of N Nintendo fans missed out on Bayonetta's second outing. Sure, they probably played her in Smash Brothers, but Bayonetta is kind of a Nintendo mainstay in a way now. And if they're going to make a new Bayonetta game for the Switch, which, again, I think it's just a matter of time, you got to get these two games on the Switch. So I think the writing's on the wall. I think this means Bayonetta is coming to the Switch. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter. Links for those are in the description down below for lots of Nintendo goodness. Peace out, guys. Bye.